Thanks, folks. We certainly have had a lot of dignity up here, haven't we? So it's time to break the mood a little bit. And thanks to your cheerfulness, I am so happy to be here. And uh, I want to talk to you about something. You know, we know that the commencement address, you know, shudder. Hopefully, pretty soon, we're going to get our degrees. Well, let me tell you what I think about commencement addresses. They should have a little bit of wisdom, a little bit of wit, some, a portion of levity, and a whole lot of brevity. So <laughs> let's see if we can get through this. And hopefully, um, let me see if I can touch some of those bases. President Gandry, distinguished guests, and graduates of the class of 2022. It is my honor to have been asked to deliver this commencement address. Now, I don't believe President Gandhi expected that I would stand up here and choose what to me is the delightful task of renaming this famous school. <laughs> Gasp! Okay. But as a preamble, I hereby proclaim that you wonderful students are graduating from the Manhattan School of Magic. That, that is what MSM stands for. Perhaps you already know it, or you might prefer the name Magical School of Music. You may be wondering where these nutty names came from. Well, this happens to be the 25th anniversary of the printing of a first of a set of books, which I am betting many of you grew up reading, the Harry Potter books. Uh-huh. I am in my ninth decade of life, as some well-meaning reviewer recently pointed out, surely as old as Dumbledore. And in other words, since I am doggone old, I can allow myself the freedom to try some really oddball thoughts. At my advanced age, I never know when today's fast thoughts are going to be my last thoughts. <laughs> Hoping for a frightfully cute rhyme there, you may draw a funny face. Okay, so now you can understand the big risk President Gandre took when he invited me to speak to you today. Let me explain how I got on this train of thought. I have a very good friend who lives on an almost daily stream of Harry Potter movies. Well, we human beings are creatures who fantasize and want to do magical things. When I began thinking of what I could say today, I thought I might compare the school of magic in the Potter series with our school of music magic right here in New York City. Is it really far-fetched? Think about it. A few years ago, you individually and you as a group, a talented group, entered the doors of our MSM as young potential wizards in the making. Now is the day you receive your wizard robes, which you're all wearing. You arrived to study with masters of the various musical arts. And now you sit here today in this wonderful place, emerging with improved skills, in fact, so improved that you may have astonished yourself with your own progress. And as wizards, you know astonishment is wonderful, isn't it? Those skills that you have practiced to get to this beginning Remember this name, commencement, means beginning. And it is why those skills that you have with even more study and more experience will carry you along the path of a productive life. A life filled with joy and service to your fellow human beings. Your listeners will have their own talents, but they do not have the musical wizardry that you have explored and developed at MSM. The wizardry that you bring into this room today. The letters MSM can also mean magical school of music. Fly with me as I stretch my metaphor, please. 
Do you recall when, as a child, you discovered your love of and the joy you found in music? Do you recall that moment or year when somebody, maybe a wise old owl, which we sometimes call our parents, gave you a wand? Yes, that is right. Your instrument is your wand. And when you use it, you bring magic and joy into the lives of others. Your bow is a wand. However you produce sound, your wind instrument, your drumstick, they're all wands. As a conductor, your baton is a wand that unifies the glorious sounds of many instruments and voices. All voice types produce a magical sound, a singing that tantalizes the ear and stimulates and lifts the souls of others. Music, vocal or instrumental, can conjure up fantasy, passion, ecstasy, or wonderment. With your wand, you are a music conjurer. You have the magic to summon the glories of sound in the name of majesty or mystery or the gentleness of a prayer, even celebrations of unity and peace. You can create lullabies that can provide peaceful comfort for the weak and hope for the downtrodden. Time has announced over the centuries and in many places, be it in a church setting, on a concert stage, or a musical theater stage, in person, or on video, time has announced in every era that all of us are nourished by music performance, which provides comfort or oddly even occasional challenge, or with our ever-present earphones, provides companionship through the, through the ordeals of the day. The spoken word is one method, but it is music, music, that lifts our imaginations from words spoken on a stage and helps all of us to rise up into the special world of sound with words either sung or played. You are a musician. You are a musician. And along with your fellow musicians, you preserve the old treasures, you reveal the newly discovered treasures, and demonstrate the brand new, which are needed, whether or not they will prove ever to be treasures of tomorrow. Speaking of treasure, do you know your talent is a treasure? And your art is a service? Your talent is a blessing, and your art is a service, a service to community. It is also a service to the art of music itself. You will go forth from this place and practice the wizardry of music making, the sheer magic of music. Music cannot be seen, smelled, touched, or tasted. It can only be summoned out of silence by you. So that makes MSM the school of magical music. You will go forth with your talent. Every time you take your instrument out of the case or warm up your voice, you are picking up your wand. You will play and sing music of the past, music of the now, and music of the future, which your fellow wizards, those adventurers called composers, will produce. Your talent is a blessing. Your art is a service. When you receive your degree today, be aware that it is really a certificate proclaiming that you are a troubadour, carrying on a centuries-old tradition 
as a poet musician. Players, singers, dancers, composers, you're all troubadours. The troubadours of the day who tell stories and decorate lives. You bring joy, humor, and a sense of fantasy into our lives. When you warm up your instrument, you are preparing to create an environment, a world you make out of sound. We who listen, listen with gratitude that you have developed your skill and that you share your musical magic with us. I, speaking for all of us who hear you, say a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your talent is a blessing. Your art is a service. In conclusion, I told you I was going to keep it brief. I, as self-appointed and very, very temporary headmaster at this magical school of music, on this graduation day, May 19th, 2022, I summon you to do the following. Rise up, go forth proudly with your wands, go forth fearlessly with your magical gift of sound, and be wise and wonderful wizards of music.